So this is the first video with speech showing the progress of my uh, to the uh, roguelike game. Uh, I've just named it the Dungeon of Rekka for now. It's a working title. Um, you never know; it might be good. Uh, I might come up with a better name. Probably not. Um, so we can start a new game. This is you quite worthless, and nothing is balanced at all. Uh, I've just been working on the features, and you can see these are just the default white buttons. Um, I've gotten these from, I kind of like these buttons, I've gotten them from uh, whatever it's called, open open game art or something. Uh, uh, it's not licensed so you can use it however you want. Um, so anyways, this is it right now and uh, it still looks ugly as hell. I should probably make these into tiles with like a, uh, a black uh, square around them here so you can see that they are actually tiles. Okay. Um, and because I don't want to die, we have four health. I'm just going to open my skill book here and uh, we can either take charge. Or can we go with the uh, range? To this is not supposed to be a skill, but right now it is a skill and you can sh sh use it without a bow. It's just making stuff work. Uh, we can also take some magic. We can take a poison bolt or a fireball. And I'm not sure if you will actually start with skill points or not, um, but right now you do. We're just going to take charge because I just maxed out the uh, strength. Uh, and that means we do a lot of damage. Uh, so you can see when I activate charge, either by pressing 1 or I can click it down here. It automatically targets this guy uh, because he's the only visible one. Um, we will just attack him. And you actually need a, a target with charge. We can see when we level up in just a short moment. Um, the uh, the armor the armors are a bit laggy. Uh, not laggy. Um, it looks a bit buggy because this is a 2x3 piece but it's only a 2x2 two two, um, image. And that's because I am not good at drawing I, I will try to draw the sprites myself, like the sword I, I drew myself, but I just took I just took some just for. I mean, it looks nicer to have a decent picture, even when I'm developing the, <laughs> the game, um, but this will be switched out and it will be a proper, proper image that will um, be in the middle of this. Uh, so we can equip some stuff like this. You see, they have different stats and they have insane stats. It's it's just for testing. This one is decent. I mean, plus one to seven damage. That, that makes sense. You can also have a one-handed one. Um, let's just keep that, and we we can, if you right-click them, you can equip or drop. You can also hold a shift, I think. Yeah, you can hold shift and press, and it will drop automatically. Uh, and we can just charge. And there we go. We level up. Woo! Um, so we can just pick another skill. Let's let's pick the fire, the fireball. You learn skill fireball, sweet. Uh, so this one as well, it will uh, it will auto target uh, if there are any targets. Otherwise, it will target you. And we can we can switch the target like this uh, because fireball has splash damage. If we uh, cast this here, I will get the light burn debuff. Um, I, th I think this one. No, I haven't. Uh, the tooltip is supposed to say that you are actually, you will light things on fire. And you can see that it's it's draining my health, but it, it's fine. It lasts for an incredible amount of time, ten rounds, but it's just testing. So everything is just testing, isn't it? Uh, so we can unequip this, and we can equip our sword and shield. There we go. Looks pretty fancy. Because I equip our boots. And, yeah. I'm supposed to hide this picture in the background. I, I just haven't gotten to it. Uh, okay, so we picked up a potion. An unidentified potion. As is with uh, most roguelike games. Uh, you can see these blue tiles are a bit weird and certain bugs still exist. Um, <laughs> quite a lot of them. 
Okay, so we also got an identified scroll. So we can try to uh, we can use this. Uh, the way to identify is uh, generally to drink stuff. So we can use this. And identified potion was a potion of strength. Sweet. Okay, so we got this uh, might buff. And it's only supposed to say plus five strength. It's not supposed to say effects every turn, zero percent chance. I I think I just um, for this uh, buff I just click. Then I have an attribute called active or something. Um, yeah, it's a mistake. But you can see every time I move or everything, every time I do something, it will uh, go down by one. Uh, so we can just burn this guy. And right now it doesn't take any uh, any strength at all to uh, or any time to uh, equip items. So we're just going to equip them and we're going to attack him with an 8 HP. You have to see that this works. So with the 5 plus strength we actually did 8 damage. For some reason he didn't follow us. And now we do 6. So there are... it works. It's not a great potion. It's decent. Uh, Oh, well, this is a bug. Thirty-nine out of four health. It, it's it's quite difficult to find bugs when um, <laughs> when things are still in development. Uh, okay, so thirty-nine out of forty-two HP. Uh, there is only one scroll in the game, so I know which one this is gonna be. And we can use that as a scroll of healing, and we we got to heal three points. I think it heals more, but since we only had um, since we only had uh, three points to heal, that is what we got. We can throw a fireball, and yeah, this is this is pretty much it for for now. It doesn't look like a lot of progress, but I mean, basically, most of the systems are are done. Um, there is a uh, you do get stat points to level up. Uh, when it, whenever you level up, you get one skill point and a couple of stat points. But I am unsure where to place that menu. So right now, the the buttons exist. All the it actually works. You you can click on whichever attribute you want to increase. Um, but the buttons are not showing anywhere because I don't know where to put them. Um, I'm thinking maybe just a separate tab like this in you know, the skill book and the inventory. But I'm not sure because before they used to be used to be here but then didn't have this cool looking UI. And this is also um, uh, with the free <laughs> free art. You can very easily see which pictures I, I've drawn and <laughs> which I've, uh, others have drawn that I'm using. I drew this potion and the scroll of healing and uh, obviously the uh, the guys or the humans, or whatever. I guess we got another un unidentified potion. Oh. It's supposed to have this uh, blue background, but apparently you can you can remove it by uh, a couple of graphical issues. It's fine. It'll, it'll be fixed. Um, so we can drink this, and that was a potion of health. Sweet. And scroll of healing with no uh, tooltip. This potion gives you a strength boost. I'm pretty sure the uh, health potion says something. That's not the right way to go. Alright, these are... Okay, this is new. Hmm. It wasn't like this before. What happens if I try to drink this? Uh, they are supposed to be uh, identified. And they have been when I've been doing this before. I think from the previous build when when I tested this, I must have I must have added something that resets the uh, which potions are identified when I switch levels. Let's see. Uh, let's see if that is true. Let's uh, go down another level. He's got to find the exits. There it is. And they are still identified, but if we find one more, and here's one, yeah, 
Yeah, I used to I used to change to uh, to properly get the scrolls to work, and uh, <laughs> now the potions don't work anymore. Anyways, it's a quick fix. Um, but yeah, this is it. I I just wanted to show the how the system is right now. We have, we have no passive or defensive skills. But I mean, it's all pretty smooth, and uh, it doesn't look impressive, and it probably isn't, but. I mean, basically, most of the systems are in place. So, for creating new items, new potions, new everything, it works pretty smoothly. Okay, so the scroll was the same thing there. It's uh, resets when you uh, switch levels. So, that's a shame. At least we get this nice little, little message. We can heal ourselves with. There we go. Maximum health. Woo! All right, so that's it. Um, I'm not sure when there will be an actual playable alpha or beta or whatever, but I mean, I've been saying from the beginning, I said this was, this was going to take two months. Um, but it, it has taken a bit longer than that. It's difficult to get the time when you're a, when you're a, on parental leave. I thought my son would just be sleeping all day, but I mean, I I, I got to do activities for him and stuff like that. It's it's pretty annoying. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching and uh, take care.